Hello my night friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Okay, today I have for you a number 87 uh, Great Eastern Cutlery Jackknife and I have two of them here to show you. One is the Coal Oil Johnny. You can see the tube here. It's number 87, 1223 Oil Well Sucker Rad Wood. And the other one is the hammer tested frozen forged 1095 carbon steel hummingbird acrylic. So here's the hummingbird acrylic in a knife sheath that I made, pocket sheath. I can put this on my belt and drop this in my pocket. And I have the knife in there safe so it doesn't get scuffed up or anything. I sell these on eBay once in a while, so look on eBay if, you, if you're interested in getting one of these. These are really nice sheets, nice thick leather, no junk here, high quality. Uh, here's the knife. Isn't that a real beauty? Look at the colors in here. There's browns and greens, the bomb shield, the nice bolsters, nice pen blade. Excellent fin and finish. That's your pen blade. Here's your clip point blade, which is over three inches. This is the size of a knife that I really like that fits my cutting shores. The cutting shores that I have that I need that uh, it's a good size blade. Nice colors on this. Really nice colors. And you have your uh, PPP stamp here on the right blade of the clip point blade, which is the Pattern Production Premier, which means this knife was never made before. So this is a brand new uh, design and knife for GEC. And I really like it because it's close to the Ben Hogan, which I'll show you right here. This is the Ben Hogan. Now, the Ben Hogan is four and a half inches long, and this one here, the jackknife, is four and seven sixteenths. So it's a little bit longer. Uh, I don't know if I can fit them in here on the screen to see, so you can see, but. Uh, it is longer, a little bit longer on there. So the width of the handle on these are a little bit wider and uh, the Ben Hogan's is a little bit narrower here. But they're very similar knives and I really like these a lot. So that is this is the Hummingbird acrylic version and it's uh, it's a real beauty. It's really nice. Okay, and here's the other one I have. This is the oil field one. And the sheath I made for it. Another packet sheath. But this one I made the rustic with the with the wrench stamping on here. And it looks like it's worn out, but it's brand new. It gives it a nice rustic uh, look to it. I can detach the... Uh, the belt loop on here so I can just drop it in my pocket or I can carry it in my belt. You'll never lose your knife. You know, these are expensive knives, so but here it is. So you have your wrench, coal oil on here that it says. The brass pins, nice bolsters. Nice wood scales. You have your pen blade. Nice fit and finish on the top. And the back springs. Nice clip point blade. It's got the oil well here. Oil 
coming up out of the well and the pattern production premier stamp on the right side of the clip point blade. Yeah, very nice. It is nice to know that uh, there's not many things made in America, but uh, it is really great that Great Eastern Cutlery makes these hand finished knives of high quality. It's something to be really proud of here in the USA, since not much of anything is made here anymore. Uh, so these are expensive. They go for 146 to 180, 200 dollars. So these are not shelf queens. These should be used. You know, it makes no sense having a knife that costs 180, 200 dollars sitting in a shelf or in a drawer just to look at. You know, these should be used. They're, sure, they're beautiful and everything else, but in my opinion, these type of knives should be used. And this one will be used. The Hummingbird one will be used. The Ben Hogan will be used. So, that's my review of these knives, these GECs. Okay, I try to keep it uh, short and to the point, no pun intended. I hope you like this video, and uh, I hope you have a nice day and evening. You guys take care, stay well, and I'll talk to you again. Bye.